Alright guys, welcome to your second tutorial in how to create a PHP program that can predict the stock market. Sounds awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building a database. Now we're going to be working with massive, massive amounts of data. So therefore, we need a database to put it in. You get how that works? Data goes in the database. Makes sense, right? So if you're working with any cPanel, not only on HostGator, but if you're working with any shared hosting and you have cPanel, there's going to be an icon called MySQL Databases. You can also use this wizard, but I like working straight with the databases. So go ahead and click on that. And now this first thing, it says create new database. So go ahead and give your database a name. I'm just going to name mine YouTube and hit create database. Now what it does is your database is not named YouTube. It may or may not give you a different name depending on if you're on shared hosting or not. But anyways, go ahead and copy the full name of your database, not what you named it, the full name. And from here, what we want to do is, I want to mention this, we're going to be having, you know, like a user with the password and a database name and a bunch of other stuff. And I can't remember all this stuff in my head. So I'm just and I always do this. I always make a blank text file uh, that pretty much stores all my stuff. And now Notepad is freezing. That is just great, Notepad. Okay, let's try this one more time. Open Notepad and frozen again. Excellent. Really? Okay, so evidently I just pasted it in and it unfroze. Thanks, Notepad. I'm not doing a tutorial or anything. And just go ahead and put database and what this text file is going to do is pretty much just going to remember all of our information passwords and stuff like that where we don't need to upload this file to the server it's not going to be part of the program it's just like our memory so go ahead and what I did already is I made a folder called Danielle 1986 and this is where I'm going to be storing all of my stuff and guys this is not mine I promised Oh, wow, this is embarrassing. But anyways, I'm going to be storing all my stuff in a folder called Danielle1986. So right now there's nothing in it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one as, let's see, let me go ahead and find that. And I'll just name it Documentation. Okay, good to go. So now our, we have our database name right there. So if you never built a PHP program before, then what you need to do in order to access your database in your MySQL tables is you actually need to add a user. Now through that user, you can access all your tables and databases and stuff like that. So I'm going to be creating a user and I'm just going to name her Sally. Sounds like a good memorable name. Now make a password that's really impossible to hack. Mine's going to be PASS123. Wow, no one's ever going to guess that. P-A-S-S, -S, one, two, three. And you can use the password generator, but for the sake of this tutorial, just so you guys understand where the passwords go in my files, I'm going to be making it real simple. But typically, you want to make one that's really hard. So anyways, go ahead and put a username in and the password and hit Create User. And then it says, OK, you created a user called Sally with a password of pass123. Now, what you want to do is you also want to go ahead and throw this into your text file. Now, just go ahead and put username Sally, Danielle Sally to be exact, and its password is pass123. Now, go ahead and save that. See, this is why I created the text file because I would never remember a complicated password like this. So, now that we have a database and a user, you think we're good to go, but we're not, not yet. What we need to do is we need to give this user permission to access the database. So you can do this in different ways, but what cPanel does is it gives you a really easy way to do this. You just hit, go under this add a user to database section and choose your user, which is Sally, and choose the database that you want them to access, which is YouTube, and you click add. And what this does is it says, okay, you're gonna add Sally and give her permission to use the database YouTube. What privileges do you want to give her? Well, whenever you're making a PHP website, you typically want to give them only limited privileges. So in case someone hacks your, you know, uh, PHP website, they can't like delete tables or anything. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna give her all privileges because Sally seems like a nice girl. I trust her. So hit all privileges. This means this user can do anything to this database and go ahead and hit make changes. And now user Sally was added to the database YouTube. Now 
your database is set up and you can access it through Sally to pretty much do anything you could possibly want. So for now we got everything set up that we needed to in cPanel. Basically all we did was we created a database, we added a user to it and gave her all the privileges that she needs. So that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial and again another thing please remember to save all of your stuff because if you forget it then you're kinda screwed. So anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.